Hey everybody, it's your girl Lisa. I uh, just wanted to come to you today um, with a very quick how-to video. And I'm just basically going to show how I revitalize my fro. Um, my plan was to have washed my hair um, yesterday, but I'm dealing with a pretty good cold right now, so I don't want to get my hair wet. So I'll wash it again later this weekend. But what I'm working with right now is an old wash and fro that I did this past Saturday. And I did this with the um, Extreme Gel and the Oregon Oil All-in-One Oil that I put underneath the gel. So as you see, my hair is not hard at all, okay? And has um, a lot of flexibility to it. So the only thing I'm going to do, only thing that you will need is the Cantu Shea, the Cantu Natural Oil Shine and Hold Mist. Any oil of your choice, and today I'm just going to use the Talesia African Healing Oil. i never say that right. <laughs> um, and I use the New Shine Silk Edges by Jam. I really like this. So I'll do a tutorial on this later, but just really like this. You'll need a boar bristle brush and your pick. So the only thing I'm going to do right now is just mist my hair with the Cantu, very lightly. The bonnet that I've been using is pretty big, so it doesn't um, weigh down my hair as much as the other ones I've used, so that's been great. Okay. And now I'm going to do is just put a little bit of the oil in my hair. I'm going to put it in my hand first. Not much. Maybe a dime size. You can see that. Scratch my, scrunch it in my hair. Oh, I missed, like I missed the area, so let's do this right here at the top. That top, this part here is my problem area. <laughs> so that needs a little extra love all the time. So a little bit more oil, scrunch it in here. Okay, and that's all I'm doing is scrunching my hair, scrunching it. And so now I'm just going to use my fingers and fluff it up and fluff it out. My hair is really grown. I'll be one year natural um, New Year's Eve of 2014, so I'm excited about that. But my hair, I'll do this real quick. It's collarbone, I guess you'll say. Yeah, so it's grown a lot. It's pretty much the same length it was before I cut it. Or, you know, yeah, before I started transitioning. So, I'm just going to use my hands, fluff it out. It's kind of hard. I don't have really a mirror. I'm just using the monitor in front of me to see what I'm doing. But what I'm going to do with this, the edges here, a little bit on my fingers. You see how, you see how it lays that down? Look at that. Let's bring it all the way around. You know, I think I'm going to end up putting a band on my hair today, so I will do that. I mean, but do you see how the silk edges just lays that down there like that? And that's just with my fingers. And what I'm going to do is use my brush. Brush it back. Yeah. Yeah, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it in a put a scrunchie on it. Or a headband, I should say, on it. Only thing I'm gonna use, I have a one of the scrunchy bands, but this one has like a rubber part in the center of it, you see it? So it really doesn't snag your hair. So everything that I put in my hair, I try to make sure. They don't have any metal clips on it that it has that rubber part there. 
Okay, so what I'm just going to do Use my pick. And see, it looks really, really shiny, but when it dries, it dries so pretty. I've only been using this for a couple weeks, but I really, really like it. So it won't look as wet as it does right now when it dries a little bit, but it'll still hold my edges back like that. It's awesome. And it doesn't flake. So, this is my hair pick it out a little bit more certain areas and I, I go to work with my hair like this <laughs> I get a lot of compliments on my hair and I love your fro man you have a your fro has really grown <laughs> do you want to trade hair with me and these are coming from my white patients go figure right but uh yeah, I may have put just a little bit too much gel right there because it's awful shiny. But as I mentioned, when it dries, it dries clear and you won't, it won't be as shiny. So let me turn around so you can get a good look at the back. Okay. So that's going to get me through today. Probably tomorrow, um, but I will do my hair probably Thursday night at the latest because I have a function to go to, so I need more fresh hair. But this is it. This is all I do when I'm um, extending my hair for a few more days. But um, but yeah, still a lot of definition and curl. When I first did the wash and go, it did hang more, but I just started throwing it out and fluffing it out more because I... I love an afro. I absolutely love it. So you all be blessed. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave the information in um, the comment box. Um, if you have not seen how I do the actual wash and go, I will leave a link up in the description box. So you all be blessed. Um, please thumbs up the video, um, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you a little later. Thank you. Be blessed.